Hey, what's going on everybody? This is gonna be part one in a series of working with the ArcJS API for JavaScript. In this tutorial, we're gonna create our first web map. It's gonna be very basic, but we're gonna hook up their API with our HTML files. We're gonna set up an external JavaScript file, an external CSS file. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm already over here at the developers.arcjs.com uh, website. It is a, a website where if you're going to be working with this API a lot, then you should definitely bookmark it. It has uh, tutorials, uh, the API references, some samples, <clears throat> uh, a lot of good stuff. So let's go ahead and go over to tutorials and we will click on the link here that says build your first web application. Okay, so uh, they say right here before you begin uh, that you need to set up a development environment. So you need to set up uh, a web server and have a text editor or an IDE uh, to write your code in. I'm not going to walk through how to set up a web server. Uh, if you need to do that, then you can click on this link here and they have a lot of good recommendations. Uh, as far as the text editor goes, uh, I'm in, I'm doing the coding over here in Sublime Text. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's very popular. It has a ton of features um, and I have a video on uh, setting up a development environment, environment in Sublime Text. If you would like to take a look at that, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our map here. Okay, so right now, if I go over to my tab here on localhost, I have a very basic website running that says this is a demo page. And this is the HTML for that web page. So you can see here, uh, this is a demo. So pretty much starting from scratch and we're gonna use their walkthrough here to get our web map up and running. So the first thing is they say to take this HTML and we'll go ahead and paste that in ours. Like that, and save it. Okay. And now we need to uh, reference their API. And to reference their API, we just take this code here and we paste this into the head of our HTML file. And what we just pasted in there was, this is a link to their style sheet. And so that will style their map and their map container and things like that. And this is their actual JavaScript file that's gonna give us access to uh, to their whole API. Um, so if we keep scrolling down here, they also have some other styles that you can add in, but we're gonna skip that right now. <clears throat> so loading modules here. Um, so on, you'll see this a lot on their samples uh, that they just put these script tags directly into the HTML. And that's fine with the samples because they're all small documents. But if you're going to be making, uh, if you're going to be making large applications, then it gets too hard to manage all of your HTML and all of your JavaScript in one file. So instead of doing what they do here and putting a script tag, let's go ahead and make a body of our HTML and put that script tag in there. So instead of putting the script tag in here like they do, we are going to take that out and we are gonna to link to our uh, external JavaScript file right here. And it's in the same folder as our HTML file. So all we need to do is source equals script.js. And now in script.js, which I have open in this tab right here, now we can add in <clears throat> any of the JavaScript code that that uh, that they provide for us. Um, so we're actually, let's not add this in right now because they give a more complete version down here at the bottom. Okay, let's take this one here. And the code that we just added in uh, requires the modules that we're gonna need for our application. So 
Uh, this is the path to the module, the Esri map. And this Dojo DOM ready uh, pretty much just makes sure that the website is ready to go uh, before we load up our code so that we're not referencing anything that doesn't exist yet. Um, and then this map here that we pass into the function, that's just an alias for this Esri map here. So we can actually call this whatever we want, but you know, uh, just keep it something that you're going to know what it is. So map, I think is fine. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and move down here to step five, create the map. So let's take this global variable for map and paste that in there. And then they give some code for the actual map itself. Copy. And we'll paste that right in here where they put their comment. And clean up that indentation. Okay. Let's scroll down. And the last thing that we need to do before this will show up on our web page is to drop this div into our HTML with the ID of map div. And in our JavaScript, you can see here, um, this doesn't have to be named map div in your HTML. It's That's just the name that we assign to it in our JavaScript. So we can change that to whatever we want. I'm gonna stick, go ahead and stick with map div. So go back over to our HTML file here. And then within our body, above the script tag, uh, put that div ID with the ID of map div and go ahead and save that and let's reload up our web page and see if we see anything. Okay, so we have our first map working now. So, um, but you can see that it doesn't take up the entire web page. Uh, that's because we haven't added any style or anything to it yet. It's just uh, extremely basic. So let's go ahead and go back to their tutorial and you can see the <clears throat> Uh, bottom link here is uh, style the page and just like I said before with their JavaScript they will also usually drop in uh, these inline styles into the HTML file but just like with the JavaScript we want to uh, make that CSS file an external file so that we can manage all that stuff separate from the HTML we don't want to mix and match our HTML and JavaScript and CSS we want all those to be separate so that it's easy to maintain. So instead of, we don't need this style tag here, all we need to do is in the head of our document, at the very bottom underneath uh, their script and style sheet, we can put in our own style sheet. So link with a rel style sheet and the href is just the styles.css file. and save that. Okay, so now we can copy their styles here without the style tags and paste that directly into our styles.css file and save that. And as you can see, all that does is gives zero padding, zero margin, and uh, height 100% to our HTML body and the map div. And okay, now that's uh, now we have a full screen map in our web browser, and you know zoom in. And if we go back, you can already start messing with this if you want. If we go back to our JavaScript file, <clears throat> you know this uh, uh, new map right here had a few options that it already added in. So uh, for base maps, you can change this. They have a few different base maps you can use. Uh, but if we change that to gray and then reload our map over here, now we have the gray base map. Uh, you can change the starting zoom point to five. You can change your center location to, uh, you know, uh, different latitude and longitude and just kind of experiment with it and, and see what it does. So that's where we're going to end it for part one. In the next video, we will add some more styles to this map. Uh, we'll add in a top menu bar here with some buttons so that we can add in some functionality, uh, put in some more modules so that we can do some more cool stuff with the map. So uh, definitely check that out, and hopefully this was useful for you guys, and thanks for watching.